Atlantis, don't worry about station. It's Island 179. Your dirty J Nix flies down the radio. Got a good friend of mine trapped at the trap house. We usually talk because we actually cool. We friends. When we see each other out, it ain't no, it ain't no nothing. It's just we have conversations. This is actually my first time actually having him on the radio with me and interviewing him. And we've been friends for fi- over 15 years. I'm, I'm feel offended, Bootsy. <laughs> what the what the fuck is going on, man? Why why take so long for us to sit down? You be ripping and running. <laughs> don't blame that running. shit on me now. Don't blame it on me. How you been? Oh, I've been good, man. I mean, I I can't complain when I can't complain. Come on, man. You got about when? What's with twenty four? You got about two more years for that. Uh, for that. Um, you know what I'm saying? That anniversary to that Boosie badass. Yeah. Uh, you thinking about that already? I'm thinking about it already. I seen the birthday uh, bad show. Yeah. Yeah, I, bro. Like I'm. I'm a legend with this music. Bro. Come on now. You can't you can talk, it. You, man. You, talk it. You know, a lot of people. You know. Uh, I just feel like a lot of people look over a lot of my music because my voice. Mm. But I'm undeniable talent when it comes to this music. Like, Come on. You know? I, you know what? Sometimes I think about that, but I don't think so. Because I feel like you have been the definition of how cats hustle. Like, I tell cats, all these young cats come to all the time. I oh, say, I am a blueprint. Come on, man. I say, Boosie, not going to leave no money on the table, brother. <laughs> yeah, you got a show for this day for 50, but you've been waiting. And yeah, that 50 been booked for a long time. But that Sunday, somebody want to give you a 40. You going to walk away from it? Hell no. Go get the money. Yeah, you got to hustle this rap like you hustling on these streets. Right. Just like you hustle any things, people coming, you got to chase this because this your job. Right. I'm talking about we going to chase it. Come on now. It's out there. We going to chase it. If you just rapping and getting money, you ain't doing enough mm. because you 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 got you to gotta have that. You got to have that dog hustle. It's a, it's a lot of ways to get it. Once you establish yourself. Mm. So what you tell a lot of like young cats coming up just because of you, just what you've been through? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, like you said, you're a blueprint. You've been doing stuff and you still to this day a businessman. You still going after that check and you want every dollar. You know I would what? tell them, man, I would tell them, believe in yourself and keep going. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would tell them. And, and try not to get smoked. You know, so many of them dying now. Nah. Right. You know, I would tell them, you know. I would just tell them believe in themselves, bro, mm. because everybody got a blessing coming. Right. And um, there's just so many rappers now. Come on now. And the internet is different. And the internet is. <laughs> the internet, then. I feel like the internet, then. It didn't wash the game a little bit. Mm. It didn't open a lot of airways for you to eat. Mm. And I love it. So you so you actually you actually like it the new the new I way. like it and don't like it mm, okay. I like certain stuff about it right. but I like that it then open up other ways because mm. even when I was back in the game when I was putting out doing how it was uh, the checks wouldn't like it you know yeah, we wouldn't get no check right you know when I first we wouldn't get n- nothing mm. so I like it more now because streaming and it's four five <laughs> six different ways to eat. <laughs> And you know I'm independent, so you know it's, I, I I I like being a rapper. You know, you know what I, you do, man. I love I love seeing my name, you know, on the check. Won't you do a seminar, man? I'll pay to come to a boozy seminar. Tell me how to get this money. I think I think that's another bet. Maybe can I can I come on? Can I join partners with you and help you put that together? A seminar. That's I think about, I think hey, I would listen to you. I could pop some shit. Now. I know I, you I, can. I, I, I could give them the game, but you know what? It's a new day and age. Mm. You can't even get your game out no more. That big motherfucker gonna be gone. See right now, they got somebody plotting right now. Mm. We finna do a seminar. <laughs> we finna go get somebody that look like Jay Nix, <laughs> <laughs> who do it almost better than Boost. Right. We finna go. I'm telling you guys, you, you, gotta, you almost gotta keep it in. You they can't do it like us though, brother. They can't do it like us. We dark skin and light skin, bro. It's just yeah, a connection. Yeah, yeah, you hear me? <laughs> so let's. So rest in peace, to all the young casters out there that's doing their thing, man. Y'all make sure. Y'all, Put the guns down, man. Get some money. Be some players. So, speaking of internet, this is the thing that I, I, I always don't understand. Like, why don't a lot of people, for me, for you, because I'm, like, I'm a friend of yours, why is it that I feel like a lot of good things you do don't get the light of the negative? Like, it was just an incident because at, at a concert. Had yeah. nothing to do with you. Yeah, right. But right. when I look on the internet and I type in your name, this is what comes up. That right. has nothing to do with you. Right. But your name is passed all over to get some clicks. Right. How right. does it actually make you feel? Like, uh, I take losses with it, bro. Come on, I take losses with it. Uh, just because that would just happen, a show just got canceled on me. Right. 
So uh, man, I take losses with it, but like I say, I got I can't complain even when I can complain. Mm. What I come from, getting it and losing it all back, go and get it again and mm. got it again. I gotta I gotta be grateful, man. I mean. You know, I, <laughs> you, you been. It is I, what it is. It's just, it's just that. I even called Snoop one. Day. I was like, Snoop, man, what you did to me get this persona <laughs> off you when you was, you know, yours is coming though. You know, I, I see it. I, I see it. If Snoop can do it, Snoop bruh, murder was the case that they gave me, bro. And he's on Voices. Yeah, I would bruh. love to see Bootsy on Voices, bro. <laughs> Snoop was like, it, it just, just keep on going. Come on. That was Snoop Toy. He said, just keep on going. Like, I've been, you know. I, and I have to commend you get your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else had because I've, I actually, I don't even know when we first met. I think it's, it was a, David Banner and Roy Jones Jr. song in LA. That was before I was on Rap City. 04. That long, 04. Seeing your progression, seeing where you at, and seeing that you still relevant right now is every older head cat hope, nigga. Yeah. Everybody over here like, man, I yeah. still can get it like Boosie. Man. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did you do that? Like, what, what was your mindset? Is that just your personality? It was just like, let me embrace know, everybody. I man. I mean, I'm just Boosie, man. Right. I mean, I'm still, I, I just, I, I put out good music, bro. I put out good films, good, you know, I, I and I just got like a cult following. Mm. Like, everybody who might not agree with what I'm saying. They got millions of people who do and really rock do, with them. And who really rock with me, who who rocking with me. And I just, I mean, I'm just. It's, that's what I'm saying. I, see, I don't think you understand. I was a part of it. I remember going out of town performing when I was doing my Stewie Rock thing. And a certain rapper, street rapper, was at one show. They yeah. was trying to charge a lot of money to get in the, in the party. Yeah. The main thing a person said is, what? Why are we paying that much money? I ain't no motherfucking boosie. Yeah. I think we was in Mississippi somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that. Ideas that people might think that this art is so huge, but the love that you have for these people and these people got for you that's in the gutter that stay with you and stick with you is different. Yeah, it's a different love. When they walk up to me, boosie, you raised me. Mm. I ain't had no daddy. You raised me. That's what my fans, that's what, you know, my fans come up to me with tears in their eyes. That's the difference from people coming saying, I like your song. It's never that. Mm. You love. raised me. Come on now. I listen to your music and I learn from you. I mm. raised generations. Mm. People, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they trying to put Duce on my flowers. Man. Come on now. They can't. You can't, bro. They like, can't. I, I ain't rap about nobody to get on. Come on now. I ain't, I ain't clout chased with this shit. I, I went through every step. You know, I was, I was, I was. In oh, the van. Four, oh, four was my first time on BET. I was out six years for that. Passing out CDs. Hustle. Out the trunk. Come on now. Yeah. So you talking about kids. <laughs> So, Boosie being a father, I'm learning. I got a a, a freshman, a third grader in the kindergarten. There's no way to, there's no, there's no, there's no book to how to raise kids, bro. It's almost like every day is a new day being a father. Yeah. So I got a salute to you because I just feel like seeing everything you went through and you go through with your children and you don't have a problem putting it out there is amazing because I feel like as a black father, if you know, you ain't going to comment on that. You're going to yeah. be like, you right. Yeah. <laughs> My daughter sometimes my name texts me back, yeah. And I pay for I pay the damn phone bill, yeah. But it's like the learning experience. What would you tell a young father coming up and just the joy side, the joy side of just like having your jit? Like, dang man, this is my kid. Like, okay, let me give my kid grace because I was talking shit when I was little. He ain't nothing but little me. My eight year old be like, Daddy, I'm a little you. I'm like, man, it's gonna be some shit. Being there and doing for your kid gonna make you feel better. Hmm. Like all the people, a lot of people be going through shit. If you if you if you spend some time with your kid, you wouldn't even think about it. <laughs> you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Then I just feel like we gotta, as black fathers, we gotta try to do more when they don't even let us do more. Mm. And as okay. black mothers, we gotta stop keeping them churn from black fathers. Mm. And black fathers gotta stop folding their hands just because sh sh they acting like that. Mm. Stop making excuses. You, we got to go put in time. And women got to start understanding that money is just more important than it's, it, time is just more important than money. money. Come on now. Because I didn't seen it switch to where it would be everything for a daddy to go get his son and take him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Please come get him. Take him some. Come get him. Take him somewhere. They come back. 
a little dirty. They didn't win so well. <laughs> little bump on the little scratch. Now a lot of women is. It ain't about that time. It's about you ain't providing, so you ain't shit. You ain't giving me no money. I'm trying to provide. It's a business deal now. I'm pr- I'm tr- I'm trying to provide. Mm. That's the so it's a both ways thing that we need to work on as black men and black women. Okay. That's what I feel. It, it it goes both ways. I mean, the worst thing I ever did, Jay. The worst thing I ever did was, as far as a family thing was. Separate from the ch- all the all all the women with children. Mm. Once your children get out your house, mm. that's when all the problems come. Mm. Cause I don't run around my house; I run my house. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when your your kids go in the other, it's like two different brains now. Mm. You can say one thing, but the mama saying one thing. It's just so all the people who having kids out there try to keep them all in your same house. Come on now, cause yeah. when they go to the other house, that's when bro, it just get difficult, bro. Come on. I believe it. I yeah. Just even if fathom just did on them with different personalities, women that have different feelings about you as a man and how they feel and this, this and that. Some might be cool, some might be love tight, some might mad at this, somebody. You can't make everybody happy, so I already know that's difficult. Right. <laughs> I couldn't imagine that. Right. 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 Atlanta Hawks. You going to the games this year? Oh uh, yeah, you know I don't miss. I'm what you think about that straight. first round pick? What you think? What you think the Hawks looking like this year? Uh, How you feel? I was angry. Coach Boosie. I ain't gonna lie, I was angry. Come on, because now. talk about it. I felt we could have ran that. Uh, we could have ran that tray and uh, Dejounte one more rip. Mm-hmm. I feel like we could have built some bigger pieces around there. Uh, but uh. I don't know. I ain't really checked the dude out, the uh, dude from France. I, mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't really check him out. But to get that one pick, he better be ready to show up. <laughs> he better out. be doing it. Because I'm going to be in his ear. <laughs> I hope he ready. I hope he ready. The, the boy's seven foot. You got to stand on the chair, boots. I hope he going to hit me. You going to hit me. <laughs> Once I get tequila, it's over with. What, you tequila, you, what tequila are you sipping on the sidelines, bro? Uh, I be sipping whatever really they have. I, you know, that's that's my time. You know, that these last six years, the house games is like part of my my lifestyle, bro. They you have know? been your staple. <laughs> yeah, the bro. I, you know, I I I didn't met a lot of important people there. I didn't met a lot of business relationships there, and it it keeps me out of trouble. It just keeps me. Yeah. You know, it, that's your thing. It, yeah, that's like my thing. Basketball you game, know, yeah. I, I I love basketball already, so. You know, it's just it's just a vibe. It's it's a club. Did you think back then you'd be sitting courtside, man? Uh, truth. Nah, I ain't really think I gonna make it to twenty one. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, I, when I I remember I was just telling my son, you know, when I made twenty one, I was I was just happy. I was I made it, you man. Know, yeah, <sighs> yeah. Well, we proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud of me. Come on, man. I'm telling you. Your flowers are there, dog. You always been an OG, always been a big dog, been solid. But this pool parlor is something special. Yeah, I've you, never been there before. Wait, yeah, I I'm mean, I'm, I'm telling you. Eyes through Boosie. I'm telling you. You. It's a yearly thing. Tell me, tell me all about it. It's every, fourth, annual, fourth annual. This is the fourth annual. Okay. Um, and every year, I, I, I bring people to host it. Uh, I'm doing Natalie Nunn and the Baddies this time. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's a Zeus party, so... Any one of y'all baddest won't you trying to get come recruited. On, come on, man. Um, they recruiting that night. Come so, on, man. They got applications. You know, we got applications. Uh, like I said, some of the most beautiful dancers in the world. I pick them from like eight different states. Mm. Uh, and this 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 something you need to be a part of. Like you know, memories are everything. When you lead this world, that's all you got is memory. Mm. Your money going somewhere. Hey, you talking about? You know, so your memories bring, ain't never leave. I'm gonna have to bring sand to the beach. Fuck it, <laughs> straight up. It's just so I won't get in trouble. That's, just, that's the best thing though. Come on with me, baby. Just come. Just let me just hold your hand and just watch with me. Yeah, so you know about, I ain't doing shit. I can shit. put you on the balcony. Come bro. on, yeah. I need to be on the balcony. I can put you on the I'm balcony. I'm gonna ask her. She gonna hear you this ain't interview. even gotta be nowhere around. I can cool. put you on the balcony. Cool. Just tell him I have to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> something. He's trying to get his life right with Christ. Okay. Just put it on that. Just my brother. He just come to support me. Okay. 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 Good okay. man. Boosie Boo man. I appreciate you checking in, man. Trapping up the trap out. You know what's going on. New music. Music? Something coming? Yeah, we got something coming. I got uh, me and Dad Dillinger got an mm. album coming. Me and Big Wayne, one of my in-house producers from way back, got an album coming. Uh, I just dropped an album called Russia with me and my Russian, one of my Russian producers. 
That's all. Uh, and I'm, you know, I don't stop, baby. So, so what? What is a one more question? What's a boosty cosign cost? Is that is that even possible? A how cosign? You do, how you doing business now? Just like somebody, if a, a young artist like I want to get my boost, I got my own money, I can be independent. I just want to, I just need somebody to help me push that way. Or that uh, they gotta have like a real independent bag, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and you gotta have hit records, mm. you know. Uh, a lot of times we just we losing on these artists, right? You facts. know what I'm saying? Because like I, what I say, it's so many, right? It's so many. So what's the process of that? If they got what's the percentage money? you think everybody can make it? How many thank you rappers you think they got? About and how many famous? More than basketball players and football players. That I'm don't telling make it. you, tell you that much. I'm telling you. But if they have an opportunity, can what would you, what would you, how would you direct them? Because I got some people online that like really like. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to weed through them for you, boost. So you. I mean, I could take them. I could take them to. I could take them. I could take them to a major. Okay. You know, I'm a, I'm a boss, bro. I could walk them right in. Okay. But they just gotta have the record. Mm. And if you talking about you got the bag behind it, you want you just want a cosign. You really gotta have that bag, bag. behind mm. it. What's that bag look like? Just give me just out there, cause they, everybody got numbers. Uh, I would say about three hundred thousand. You know, okay. yeah. But that's that's a bag that'll get you. You know, you talking about a hundred thousand. You ain't really going nowhere. Mm, okay, you know, that's a true. You if you if you want blast, I'm talking about radio. Mm. Radio, just a couple hundred thousand, boy. Right. You want that? Come on now. That fool roster, boy. <laughs> come on, hey, oh, come on now. <laughs> Boots gonna tell you the truth now. I'm gonna tell you the you truth. You better come with a 300. If you don't come with no I'm 300, don't come around Boots unless you got a hit record that's already working, okay? Yeah. Definitely going down, man. Big Stu out here. Trapping out the trap house. UD.